My name is Paul Stone. I, I work for a company called Flowforma. And today I'm going to talk to you about transforming NGS estates with digital process automation, which will give you increased visibility, improve your productivity, and improve the efficiency of your operations. So I'm going to go through the slides quite quickly today because we have a short amount of time. Um, so we'll, keep, we'll focus on our main bullets. So first of all, a little bit about Flowforma, what the system actually is. It's all to do with process automation, that's work management, that are just driving processes through your organization to achieve your business goals, like, for example, managing uh, your assets. It's a system that's quite unique in the marketplace because it allows you to digitize any process that you have at the moment. So if you have a process running on paper that's maybe managed on a spreadsheet, you can digitize that process using Flowforma and start gaining the, all the advantages of that. We're really quite different in our marketplace because we allow you to digitize your own processes. You're not dependent on an IT provider. You can actually digitize the processes yourself. And in a demonstration later on, I'm going to show you how easy that is. We've been awarded a place on the NHS London Procurement Partnership um, based on the value that we're providing into the NHS. And again, we're going to talk, to, talk about some case studies today that demonstrate that value to you. Uh, so we're also an approved vendor, uh, we're a system that operates on the NHS shared tenancy, uh, or indeed if you have your own Microsoft 365 environment, we can operate on top of that as well. And I'll talk to you again a little bit about the technical side of things as we move forward. Um, we, because of our, the way we approach process automation, the way that we're different, we've been internationally recognized. So while we have lots of clients in the NHS in the UK, We've also got clients, for example, the Department of, of Health in the state of Utah in the US. So we have clients all over the world. And indeed, we have over 200,000 users across the globe using Flowforma to uh, digitize the process, to make themselves more efficient and capture uh, more data for analytics, et cetera. So in terms of NHS estates, what kinds of benefits can Flowforma bring? Well, we actually cover off many different uh, scenarios within the operations of NHS estates. So for example, we, we can be used to manage stock, to carry out fire safety checks, and a number of different safety related uh, processes within your organization. Um, also can be used then to manage equipment, the checking in and checking out of equipment, the monitoring of the equipment to ensure that it's, it's working up to a standard. And all of these processes can be digitized using Flowforma. The big difference with Flowforma against other systems is these can be tailored then to your own specific needs, the specific needs of your hospital and the resources that operate within your hospital. So that you can tailor the process to run most efficiently in your environment. The system itself, as I said earlier on, operates on top of a Microsoft 365 or the N365 instance. And it's available to people to access via their desktop, if they've got a desk job sitting at their desk, or on mobile uh, devices as well. So Android and iOS devices can use our mobile app to access the system to help execute those processes to achieve those business goals. It's very well suited for managing teams because um, the whole idea with the system is that it passes workflow from one person in the organization to the next, to the next, to the next ultimately to get that work done all along the way, gathering an audit trail. So what we're going to do first of all is talk about one of our case studies, which is Blackpool NHS uh, Teaching Foundation Trust. And here's a quote from one of the um, IT team actually in Blackpool Trust, where he's stating the efficiency and accuracy in the data we can extract using performer process automation is a game changer. Essentially, what we're saying here is that in the past, when the processes were operating using pieces of paper, email, spreadsheets, the data that was captured in those processes was not available for analytics at all. And what was achieved through uh, the implementation of Forma was uh, gathering all that information, making it available for data and, and analytics. Also along the way, greatly improving the productivity and driving processes forward automating tasks so that people themselves did not have as much work to do, they were able to achieve the goal faster and, as I said, more efficiently. In terms of the types of processes that Blackpool uh, Trust implemented, they actually implemented over 30 processes. 
but a lot of them focused around equipment maintenance and the management of safety. Um, so the kind of tasks that they were they were carrying out were checking in and checking out equipment, allocating equipment to resources, um, managing the falls and incidents that occurred in relation to that equipment, um, and also carrying out regular monitoring, so regular spot checks uh, of equipment to ensure that they were performing to standards. Overall, this uh, created significant reductions in processing time and passing back of information. Why? Because the information was corrected, collected accurately at the point that the check was being carried out. So when the person was on site uh, in the ward, viewing the equipment, they were able to actually record the details on a mobile device or uh, uh, on a form. And we show a demonstration shortly of what that kind of uh, system looks like. And at the end of the day, all the activity from all the people running around the, the, the hospital, uh, carrying out those maintenance uh, operations was all tracked and recorded. Uh, and all the details about the maintenance activity itself, like what was the performance of the monitoring equipment, for example, that was recorded and that was available to be reported on. So we'll go in and have a look at the flow form of the system. So the way you kick off a process of flow form is typically, typically by clicking on a link um, and you'll access the system through a dashboard so you can see all of the processes, where they are right now, who's got the ball, who's actually tackling this particular job at this particular time. Um, and then when you go into the system, you're able to fill in information related to the task that you're currently working on at the moment. So the idea is that the system presents information to you as and when you need it, so that you're only seeing the information that you, so you are required to actually enter. So one like a paper form, which is formatted on an A4 page where you have to fill in lots of detail. And for Forma, you only need to fill in the information that uh, is required to be filled in. So this is what a flow Forma format actually looks like. And what we can see here is a series of steps in a process that are carried out by different people in the organization. So the fire safety, uh, sorry, the person carrying out the fire safety check would see the first uh, action here. Um, and then there might be some actions that need to be assigned by that from that, uh, which will be carried out by the fire warden. And then the actions could be owned by different people in the organization. That would depend on what the action actually is. So to, to carry out the first step, you would be recording this information uh, and entering in the details. So the system will automatically uh, display relevant information to you. Uh, I can then say, no, I don't uh, this particular question here, are all corridors, passage rates, uh, routes free, rubbish and obstructions? No, they're not. I can then upload a document or upload an image. If this was on a mobile device, it would allow me to take a photograph with my camera. I can annotate the image to point out the uh, issue and record some comments. Um, in corridor. Um, and then I can decide what to do about that. So I can record more information if I want to, but down at the bottom then, I can say that well, all, all of these are actually fine. There's no more fire safety issues. I can then submit that and I can allocate the task to the follow-up action to a particular resource. So that resource could be myself at the fire warden or it could be somebody else inside the organization. So here I'm, I'm moved on to assign actions, the next step in the process. I'm seeing what the issues are. As you can see, there was only one issue raised. The system ignored everything else because everything else was actually fine. Now, remember that the system keeps a full record, so you can see that this was recorded by the, the, the person who submitted the uh, report. But now when it comes to the fire warden, I'm just seeing the issues that are related to me that I have to take action on. And the actions that I have to take in this instance is decide who this person, who's going to be the person who's going to deal with this. So I'm going to type in David Shanley. And what will happen? Oh, I didn't spell his name wrong, excuse me. The joys of a live demo. And then we see that uh, it recognizes this particular user in the organization, and he's going to carry out a follow on action for this particular particular issue. So what we'll do now is we'll submit that forward again, and it will automatically then move on to the action owner to carry out that action and go and remove that rubbish in this instance. Um, so what the system is doing here, just to recap, is you have a series of steps that you're executing. 
through the organization, different people are doing different things. The system is managing all that and it's doing automatic actions in the background. So the automatic actions are managing things like the, uh, the, the photographs and so on, and managing the actions, uh, sending out communications. It can send out emails to remind people to do things. It can send out, uh, it can generate documentation um, so that you have a documented record of everything that's going on. Uh, and this is all being carried out automatically in the background. And remember again, that on each step of this process, I'm seeing a focused view of the information that I need right now to do the job right now. Now the system, in addition to that, captures off metrics on all of this uh, activity, so that you can quickly see what processes are running late, what processes are running on time. And when I drill into this information, I can see that of those late processes, these are the various steps in the processes, and these processes are causing a bottleneck. Why? Because they're running late over half the time. They're causing an issue here. So I can quickly drill into the detail of that because the system records all that detail, records all the audit trail. You know where the process is at any one point in time, and you know who's currently assigned to it and when it was last updated. So you can quickly see those issues in real time and be able to analyze that and, um, and take action on it. So it's very good for uh, if you're um, in a management position and you have lots of staff throughout the hospital working towards the, the goals that are relevant to you, you can quickly see who's working on what at any point in time. Um, so Forma, in addition to that, uh, provides an, a, a series of uh, dashboard tools where you can actually view uh, all the information that you're capturing in the workflows. So for example, we saw there that we were capturing details on different fire safety categories. You can, you can produce a report using tools like Microsoft Power BI that allows you to analyze um, how many times, for example, did a particular fire safety, safety check fail? And um, so you can actually analyze by different type and you might find out uh, information from that. For example, if it was a case of rubbish in the corridors, you might find out that's occurring quite frequently and you might update your policies and, so, and controls to address that issue going forward. And the system allows you to not just see where processes are right now, but also view how things have performed in the past. So you can gradually improve your processes over time and you can quickly edit those processes uh, to add in new steps, for example, to, uh, to change that process, to make it more efficient going forward. And the system also allows you to analyze the, the processes, how they did in the past and how they did after you made the change. Did they improve? Did they, were they running on time uh, more often than not? And where a flexible no-code editor allows you to make those changes really quickly and easily. And with that, I'd just like to pass back to Matthew for some questions. Hi, Paul. Thank you very much for the presentation. Um, so, everybody, I'm just going to run the poll on the screen, and then I'm just going to jump to some questions, uh, Paul. So, um, how long does it take to digitalize a process with flow format process automation? It's designed to be very, very quick because it's designed for business users to actually build themselves, and business users don't have time. So that first safety check that I showed you today, that just took three hours to build it. If you imagine if you went to an IT supplier, it would take quite a lot longer than that. So it's really, really quick. And we have a very good onboarding program that helps you get up to speed as quickly as possible so that you can take control and do things yourself. Fabulous, thank you for that. Um, what are the technical requirements for using Flowformer process automation? Uh, basically, the only technical requirement is it runs on Microsoft 365, or in the case of the NHS, on N365. So really, that's the only prerequisite. Once you have that in place, you already have the infrastructure to run the system. Um, the system is already pre-approved, so it's, it's a very easy install, very easy to get up and running. And like I said, we have this great onboarding program to get you up to speed, get you uh, running with the system as quickly as possible. Thank you. Um, so uh, our processes often need changes. Um, could I make these changes in-house with, with the Flow Pharma tool? Yeah, absolutely. The, the idea really is, in an ideal world from our perspective, the people who own the processes in the hospital, they would be the people building the systems. So the whole idea here is that you're going away from IT and going away from the IT change control. You're taking ownership and you can actually go and change those things yourself. Um, but the IT departments also benefit too. So for example, in Blackpool NHS, the IT department is the main, pe main people who actually uh, configure those flows. 
and they find it really beneficial because it's just so quick. It's so quick compared to any other tool out there. Um, so they just uh, they just find it really really easy to manage. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It's the people on the floor actually making the design for themselves. Really, that, that's yeah. quite important. Um, so the final question, Paul, um, before we move on to the next presentation, could I enable my suppliers to input to processes digitalized with Flowform tools? Yeah, absolutely. So we can you can allocate those tasks in the process, steps of the process to different people in your organization. But we have this feature called Engage that allows you to externalize the process as well. So you can have an external person, like a supplier, uh, fill in the supplier application and then that's processed internally inside your organization. So yeah, we support that too. Fabulous. Well, thank you very much, Paul, for the, for the presentation. And I'm just going to, again, just uh, ask delegates to go through to the handouts PDF where you'll be able to get some more information from Flowforma and follow up with Paul post-conference. But for now, Paul, thank you very much for the presentation. And hopefully we can see you at an in-person event next year. That's great. Thanks, Matthew. Yeah. Thank you, Paul.